Hi guys, today we are officially starting one of my favorite chapters. It's all about money. So you did the introduction to the money chapter on Friday, and now you're working on lesson one, which is about pennies and nickels and dimes. We're going to work on how much those are worth and adding together and counting them especially, right? So open up to page 483 to follow along. So we're going to use pennies, nickels, and dimes. So we're going to sort the coins, find the value of each group of coins, write the value on each bouncy ball machine. Okay, now, if we were in school, I would give you the physical coins, right, and have you count them. In this case, I'm just going to draw them for you, and I want you to think about to draw them as well, and to then count them. So, let's say I gave you, well, I'll just write a one on it, because it's small. Let's say I gave you three pennies, two nickels, and four dimes. Okay, so I come to my pennies. How much do I have? So I have one, two, three, because each worth is one just worth one, so I just have to skip count by one. So I have three cents. This is really important because if you have three what? Three what? Three bananas? Three monkeys? No, you have three cents. And the cent sign, as you can see down here, is just you draw it like a C with a line through it. Okay? All right, nickels. I'm going to count by fives because each nickel is worth five. Five, ten. So I have ten cents. Remember that cent is very important. Dimes are each worth ten. So we have ten, twenty, thirty, forty because I skip count by tens. So I have forty cents. The big things with this chapter are going to be able to be able to skip count and know how much each is worth, right? So I had you watch the videos on Friday about how much each is worth, but pennies, one, nickels, five, dimes, ten. This is our focus for today, pennies, nickels, dimes, okay? So let's get more into it, right? A dime equals ten cents. Count by tens. Ten, twenty, and they were so kind, they already have the cent sign for us. Nickels are worth five. Count by fives. Five, ten. Pennies are worth one cent. Count by ones. One, two. And the helpful hint that they showed us is this sign that we talked about stands for cents, right? So anytime you have cents, that's the sign you use to write it. And it goes after the number, as you can see, which is a little different than dollar signs, which we're going to talk about later in the week which go before the numbers of cents goes after. To find the value of coins, start counting with a coin that has the greatest value, that means the biggest one. So in this case, we're gonna start counting with our dimes. You can see we have two dimes. So we're gonna start with 10 and then 20. Here's where it starts to get tricky because you're not just counting, we have other coins to add in too. So then with nickels, we have five. We're going to add five with them. So from 20, I go to 25. And then what's five more than that? No, I need to count by fives. 20, 25, 30. Now I have to switch gears again and just count by ones. 31, 32. So I end up with 32 cents. So this is what's tricky about these. You might know that a dime is worth 10, a nickel is worth five, and penny is worth one. But it's about being able to kind of count them all together. So starting with my dimes, 10, 20, switching gears with nickels, 25, 30, then switching to pennies, 31, 32, knowing that I have 32 cents. A great skill, which I would recommend you do this week. I don't know how much change you have at the house. I know not as many people pay with cash anymore, but just practice and practice with a grown up counting coins. Have them give you a handful of coins and count them. It's a great skill, and of course, it's very important because when you grow up, you're going to have to deal with money. And even now, dealing with money, right? They give you, you know, so much money and you want to buy a candy bar at the store or something like that. Very important. So it's really important to practice as much as possible. So counting the value of the coins, starting with my biggest one is a dime. So I have 10. Switching straight to a nickel. So I'm going to just add five to it. So 15. And then adding a penny. So I'm just going to add one. So I'm going to have 16. So I end up with 16 cents. Pretty simple, right? But it's good to just practice and be redundant with it. That means being really repetitive. Like our vocabulary word from last week, repeat it. Do it a lot. All right, starting again. Starting with my dime, 10. That's another one. 20. So another one, so I'm still counting my 10. 30. Switching to nickels, I'm just going to add 5 to it. 
35, another nickel, so another 5, 40, and a penny, so I just add 1, 41. So I'm left with 41 cents. How many dimes are equal to 70 cents? Well, think about it. Each dime is worth 10. So how many 10s are in 70? 7, so 7 dimes. Right, because that equals 70. So that's pretty much all I'm going to do with you today because it's really just all about practicing. So remembering your dimes are worth 10, nickels are worth 5, pennies are worth 1. Practice counting, starting with the, the dimes, starting with the tens, counting by tens. How many are there? Adding, knowing when to switch to 5 because it's a nickel and knowing when to switch to 1. So this is good for you to practice on your own. And then, of course, with these problem solving, you might have to draw the picture to help you. So when I, I recommend just for your sake of ease, when you draw a penny, just do maybe a circle with a one in it to show that it's worth one. A nickel, circle with a five in it, and dime, circle with a ten in it. Now, something we'll also kind of talk about through the week is the different sizes of the coins and what they look like. But in this case, for drawing your pictures, I would worry more about the numeric values. That's the number value than worrying about which one's smaller. I mean, as you can see, the dime is actually the smallest one, even though it's worth more than the nickel and the penny. And the penny is the brown one, right? So that's helpful. It's made of copper usually. And so the nickel is the biggest, dime is the smallest, and then the penny is the brown. Now, I shouldn't have said nickel is the biggest because it's the biggest one we're working with today, but it's not the biggest coin. We're going to talk about those later in the week. But so big focus using those numbers. And then, of course, as, your, as you work with your homework as well. So not too crazy hard of a chapter, I think, see as you will work with that tomorrow. It's just really about practicing and being able to recognize and skip count quickly. So that's your challenge for today. Have a great day, friends.